My name is Abimbola. I'll be talking about Scrum. Scrum is a framework for developing complex products and services, whereby there is, um, it, is, it, is, it is grounded in empirical process, whereby there is constant reassessment of what has been done, what is to be done also. And then it is, it is based on you are doing something, you check what you are doing, there should be a feedback, then you adopt that feedback. Then you do that same thing and you try to do it better because of the feedback. Then you check again if there is any feedback and then you adopt. And that's the way the process goes until there is a perfect product. Now I'm going to talk about the, the benefits of this Scrum. There's, um, it, it, it ensures um, better quality of the product in the sense that since there's constant there's constant feedback from customers and the product owner in the first place and then the end users as customers there's going to be a better quality there's going to be quality assurance for the product so also it also goes with customer satisfaction that goes also goes at the hand with customers because customers can easily would easily say what they want and there's always a, a a way to get that back into the system to make the product better. Also, there's, it gives room for better team morale, higher team morale, in the sense that for, for the team members in the Scrum team, which should not be more than nine, it gives them higher morale that there is no outer, there's no external interference in the work they are doing. Because what they do, what they have plans of doing from the beginning is what they do to the end. There's nobody who can change the goal or the, the time or what they are trying to achieve at the end of the day. And then also there's, there's, um, there's the, the team morale is also higher because there's always face-to-face -face communication that, that will reduce frustration due to miscommunication between the team members because they are supposed to have like 15 minutes of, of meeting every day to explain what they've done, what they are supposed to do at the moment and what they will do. And then also there's um, cost control. There's also risk control, cost and risk control because you, you, there's, there's a time frame and the cost budgeting might not change in that period of time. So I think that's good. Thank you.